Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Y'all, welcome to the mental house. Quite early in the morning over here. Um, no matter what time I start making videos, Daisy is going to make sure she get herself in the background. She just is relentless. As soon as she hear my mouth going, good morning, I hear, <laughs> so I guess she want to get in on a video too. So if y'all hear her squealing back there, please excuse her because it's too early for her to go out and um, I ain't doing it. But, you know, I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, um, this article. Uh, uh, that says Kim Jong Un told Trump that he displayed his uncle's head after executing him for a treason with a firing squad. Now that's what a book claims. I guess the book that uh, Woodard wrote. Now, I got the first book, and that was uh, crazy enough, and um, to let us know what was going on. Uh, what was it called? Fear, I believe. Donald Trump is insane. And the sad part about it is people know that he has lied. It'll show you the deterioration of a society when you know that the person has lied. He's lied all his life. He's never, ever, ever accomplished anything, basically. Everything he has given to him and all of y'all out here that's supporting him and being a freaking drone for him. Most of y'all had to struggle and work with what y'all got. A lot of y'all, he taking the dumbest of y'all. That's sad. He got you supporting him. But basically, behind closed doors, he's laughing at you. It's like a, that Carrie movie. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I mean, really. So anyway, this article. Washington Post journalist Bob Woodard alleges in his new book, Rage, a series of interviews with the president that uh, Mr. Trump boasted on how Herman State leader, how the Herman State leader tells him everything. You know, he's such a sad little child. He's never had any friends. And here's the worst part about Donald Trump. And this is the worst part about living this kind of life. That's why I really, really. Uh, worry about, you know, children when they watching porn and stuff like that too early. You want to know how I'm going to tie this in? See, Donald Trump has never really had anybody that loved him because he's always been a, a narcissist and a crazy brat out of control that his parents never corrected the behavior. In fact, they poured water on that behavior and it went um out of control. So if you read his niece's book, and see how Donald felt betrayed by his mother. See, it all comes back to a lot to your childhood. Because his mother, he she didn't betray him, but because she had issues and probably dealing with Fred Trump was enough to drive anybody insane. Um, Donald didn't get the nurturing that he needed from a well mother. See, that helps explain his disdain for women. All his sexual escapades have been for trade. He's a big trick. So basically all the women that have uh, dated him have never dated him because they love Donald. He hasn't given anybody a chance because it's actually his personality is not, it's disordered. So you, so he's got the kind of personality that these women will just sell their soul for just to get a check. And and they're mostly they basically have the idea where he has money. If I have a child, he dies, we'll be taken care of. And in a society that's capitalist, I hate to say it, but that becomes the focus of a lot of women because women look for security. And women gotta be secure. And if they're not secure, then they're gonna figure out a way to get secure. Even if it means going out, having a baby by the baller. Getting a baller check. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not putting the judgment on it whatsoever. And personally, it's not important what I think about it. 
I'm just telling you what it is. Okay? So a lot of these women just, you know, get a check, baby, as Corey said. And that's pretty much what all the things that Donald Trump's relationship has been. Even when it comes to the wars that he's been with. They all talk about he's nice. He's sweet. And he's just, you know, he just want to get it in. He, you know, he's a big uh, uh, a trick. Okay? So, now, you have people that are in evangelicals who claim the love of the Lord, who claim that, you know, Jesus is Lord in their lives, except they now they got this big adulterer up there bragging about and using, I'm going to try to use the whole country to pay for his, uh, <laughs> oh my God, rape schemes, okay? And the evangelical saying, if this God sent this man, let's, let me just shoot a bunch of holes in the evangelicals right here while we're sitting here. They're part of the illusion of madness as well. They're part of the crazies. Okay? So now, this man said that he displayed his uncle's head on the stick after he was executed. The, my God in heaven. This is strength, and Donald Trump loves this. So he loves uh, anybody that he can get behind that he feels is basically a dictator. He likes that type of stuff. Okay? Because he's a wuss. Again, he's a wuss. The account claimed that Kim's uncle, General Jang Sung Thaek, was killed by firing squad in orders, on orders of the dictator, with earlier reports suggesting his body was then stripped naked and fed to wild hogs. Jim, Kim Jong Un then reportedly put his uncle's head on display for others to see. I told y'all about that time my uncle did that. I thought it was the worst thing in... Uh, my uncle's gone now, but uh, that's one of the things he did. He 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 killed the hog and took the head of the hog and stuck it on the post. So, you know, when kids coming home from school, what you see is this damn head, hog head on the post. <laughs> but my cousins they were freaked out. Um. And he got a pleasure out of doing sick shit like that. You see what I mean? He had a certain amount of morbidness to his uh, self, like Donald Trump. Trump told Woodard that he grew to admire the North Korean dictator who told Trump about ordering the execution of his uncle and senior government officials, James Song Thick, in 2013, reportedly for being suspected of disloyalty to the current regime. See, this is who Donald Trump is getting his uh, oats with. Y'all better recognize we finna go into it now. In December 2013, the North Korean regime announced that they had executed Jang and called him despicable human scum for leading a dis dissolute and depraved life after a special military tribunal found him guilty of treason and attempting to overthrow the state. The North Korean state Later went on to say that Jang was found guilty um, for him for such hideous crimes as attempted to overthrow the guard uh, the state by all sorts of entries and despicable methods with a wild ambition to grab the supreme power of our party and state. He began revealing his true colors, thinking that it was just the time for him to realize his wild ambition in the period of historic turn when the generation of the revolution was displaced. The state of state run media said with reports alleging that he was shot by machine gun fire. Trump will go on to meet with Kim Jong Un on three different summits. They said he loved him. Trump divulged the politics behind his business with the North Korean dictator. Y'all fools gave this fool the colds. Trump told Woodard 
the CIA had no idea how to handle the reclusive dictator. Adding, he dismissed intelligence officials' assessments saying North Korea would never give up its nuclear weapons. The president also said his three summits with Kim were no big deal when he decided to talk about lessening the, its nuclear stock hold, stock load. But as y'all know, he pick, uh, uh, picked up more. It takes me two days. I met. I gave up nothing, Trump told Woodard. Offering an analogy of the country's attachment to nuclear weapons as someone who loves their home and they just can't sell it. The president also gave Woodard 25 pieces of communication between himself and Kim, which the president described as love letters. In two of such letters, Kim addressed Trump as your excellency and used flowery language to describe their relationship. Even now, I cannot forget that moment of history when I finally held your ex Excellency's hand, uh, Kim wrote in a letter following their 2018 meeting. At the beautiful and sacred location, as the whole world watched with great interest and hope to relive the honor of that day. And Kim called Obama an asshole. In, in another letter he wrote to Trump, he then called Trump your excellency, then wishing him happy birthday. I extend my sincere warm regards to your excellency on the occasion of your birthday. And Donald Trump is so gullible and so desperate, love and compliments. Uh, he can side with Kim Jong-un over Barack Obama. That's how he's wired. Trump told Woodard the United States would have been in a major war if he had not been president. Oh my God. Okay. However, then Defense Secretary Jane Mattis said Trump's tweeting at Kim was unproductive, childish, and very dangerous. Yeah, it's very childish. Very childish. I'm not even a professional politician, and I know this shit. It's bad. It's bad. At the White House press conference on Thursday, Trump said Woodard, who famously broke the Watergate scandal, is somebody I respect, but said it was um uh, but said it was despite not knowing too much about his work and not caring about his work. <laughs> Trump continued, I did it out of curiosity because I do have respect and I want to see uh I wonder whether somebody like that can write good. But uh, uh, I, I don't think he can. Let's see what happens. This one, this dude. Okay. So, Kim Jong-un told Trump he displayed his uncle's head. And uh, Donald Trump really loves that. Cause, and that's what he's doing. And that's, that's what he... Um, that's what Donald Trump looks at as power. Uh, and <laughs> this is how he wants to treat us. That's crazy. Anyway, let me get on to the next video. With that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. I'll be back. Y'all tell me what y'all think, though, please. Y'all think that he going that these fools are going to drop a bomb on us? On all of us? Do you think they really care about what happens to the American people? Do mm -mm. you think Trump really cares? 